the 2012 Passat seems to herald a new era for Volkswagen. It's VW's first American-made vehicle in decades and seems to mark a change in the brand's personality. Now this car really goes after American tastes. In the past, it seemed like Volkswagen was trying to convince American buyers why it was superior. This is how you move from a niche brand to a mass market brand. The Passat comes with a lot of choices and trims, including one that comes in just under $20,000. You also have this diesel version. The diesel will get you 40 miles per gallon. The other gasoline-powered versions are also pretty fuel efficient, just not quite this good. The interior is spacious, even the rear seat is comfortable. This upscale trim has nice insets in its leather seats, some cool wood trim, and is very well laid out. Now there are still a few leftover Volkswagen quirks, including an overactive air conditioning system and a complicated audio system that has an annoying digital delay when it first starts. But it is cross-branded with Fender and sounds great, including the HD AM signal. This is the first vehicle made at Volkswagen's new multi-billion dollar assembly plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and the launch has been fairly slow because Volkswagen wants to get the quality on this vehicle just right. Volkswagen has had a lot of near misses with its mid-sized cars, but I think this version of the Passat is going to be a hit. Let's give it four out of five stars. With a Car Chronicles test drive, I'm Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert.